I've got an arsenal of useless words, oblivious and blunderous. I should just be still. I must confess, you're a mess. You're always coasting on without a word. Never thinking like it's not your life to live. Come with that, it's time to pick up the pieces of yourself. How can you like what you got when it's nothing at all? Let's start it over again. All your faults in the past will get you out of this town. If you've got nothing to prove, we've got nothing to do. We've got nothing to do. Stop pretending like you're living big. Let's save the acting to the actors. Let's get these straight. I must impress my distress. You live your life like a bad team movie. We're all watching, but no one ever laughs. Can't wait that it's time to pick up the pieces of yourself. How can you like what you've got when it's nothing at all? Let's start it over again. All your faults in the past will get you out of this town. You've got nothing. Outside of mine Which are just burning bridges Never fail You can live your life Outside of mine Which are just burning bridges Never fail How can you like what you've got When it's nothing at all When started over We'll get you out this time If you've got nothing to prove We've got nothing to We've got nothing to lose Chris, go. Not necessarily producer, but like even an artist, like another okay. song. Uh, producer, John Feldman. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> no, honestly, I'm agreeing That's with it. Chris. Okay, okay. I'm agreeing with Chris. Um, if I could write a song with anyone, assuming that I could sing it with them, it would probably be um, Adele or Tay Jardine from We Are the Incredible. Nice. That's what I'm saying. Oh, sorry. You can go ahead. I don't know what's going to contribute. Why do you keep doing that? I have nothing to say. So no quiet. comment. <laughs> <laughs> You're too quiet. He's the bass player, bro. <laughs> Victor Wooten, there you go. Okay. <laughs> if you were to be featured on Pop Goes Punk, what song would you want to cover? Oh, man. Pop Goes Punk, like... Like, just the normal one. Where they do like pop, pop songs, songs as pop punk songs. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, um, <laughs> yes. No. I guess it would probably have to be something more, like, mainstream. Pop. Katy Perry. It has to be something Oh, Katy something Perry. Katy Perry, yeah. Like, uh, Teenage it. Dream. We can transpose it. Yeah, but it sounds weird. Okay. But something Katy Perry in the dream world. <laughs> <laughs> if you could have a song play every time you enter the room, what song would that be? Oh my I gosh. Have tiger. Ew, I have the tiger. Ew, I have the tiger. Okay. Well, that one song that plays when they're, um, <laughs> the song that plays when they're riding on the horses in Lord of the Rings, when they're just, like, riding through the plains, if that just, like, bursts, like, full symphony whenever I walked into the room, I wouldn't be mad. I would like to have my, I'd actually like to have my life, um, like, the, the soundtrack of WoW. If, oh, yes. So it changes, but it's still kind of the same, but it changes for the goodness. Movement. Yes. Yeah. So awesome, you walk into like, the inn and it's nice and music. Medieval orchestral type of stuff. Oh, yeah, I walk into the inn and it's like I don't know. I don't even know what you would call that. Um, Medieval like bar drinking bar anthems. music, yes. Drinking bar music. music. Yeah. <laughs> 
Man, I don't know. Like, I get so tired of songs. If it was every time I walked into a, a room, that would be that's pretty that. serious. So the only music I never get tired of is Frank Sinatra. So I'd say some sort of Frank Sinatra song. <laughs> I'd say something old video game, like old Zelda. Ew, that would be awful. That would get you are the worst. I'm the worst kind of person. I am the salt of the earth, apparently. Yeah. That's James. That's my new phrase. No, I call Danny that more. That's our TM. I would call Danny that more than I would call Hi, you Danny. That. Hi, Danny. I don't Danny's know where you are. Danny's not listening. I think he's in Texas. Oh. Bye, or Danny. something. <laughs> he might be in California. What? He tweeted about going to In-N-Out Burger today. Oh. Never been there. Mm-hmm. All right, moving They're on. They're on the West Coast, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, how do you go about the writing process for your songs? Do you usually do lyrics first or compose the music? How do we do this last one? It's usually, um, compose like, music first. Yeah, like a basic chord structure or a basic riff and then we'll build off of it and then we have like, to write the chorus. The next. three the three of us will kind of, yeah, I mean, we'll come up with a chorus and then we'll kinda of just jam and come up with we'll just try weird stuff and then James will sit there and write lyrics. And I make them play the verses and the chorus like an Until our times fingers over. bleed. And they're like, oh, I can't play it anymore. I'm like, I don't care. I'm not done writing. <laughs> Is it easier to write at home or on tour or like in a studio atmosphere? Um, We've never written in a studio. Or on tour, I don't think. Yeah, we, we, usually, write, we just write at home. We write at our practice space. Yep. Or in our own homes. Yeah, me and me and Eric have, uh, Eric and I Eric have and written. I. Written. I just said written. Yeah, it's written. Written some songs, just like by ourselves. So do you write better, like as a group, or do you like writing separately? Um, I like writing as a group because then you know everyone's kind of into it. Like if someone doesn't like something, they'll say it. I like to come up with with a basic idea and then bring it to the group and expand on it with them. That's what I do. But I don't like to get too far into one idea by myself. Yeah, I agree with that. What would you say makes Aristo different from other bands in the scene? Like what sets you apart? Why should people listen to you? We take ourselves way too seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, you go. I know you have something to say for this. Uh, I could take this one. Yeah, Eric, go. I honestly, and this isn't like bashing other bands in this quote unquote scene, um, but I do think that we seem to take ourselves a lot more seriously and we're a lot more career oriented than a lot of those bands. And we're, I would say that we're just more, like, I, I've seen a lot of bands over the years that are just, like, pretty much mainly about image, and we have some of that, because, like, to be in this, in the scene that we're in, yeah, you have to. Yeah, to not acknowledge image would be just not, right. not but, your business plan. But we are 98.5% music. That, is that an exact percentage? <laughs> yes, yes. <roughly>. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's we'll go exact. back and calculate that later. <laughs> um, I would say for, besides like business aspects aside, I would say, um, uh, it sounds, I wanted Chris to say this because now it sounds really lame that I'm saying it, but... Your voice. Yes, my voice. Different. My voice is weird and people never say like, oh, you sound like this person or this person. No one ever says that, so I... It could be a bad or a good thing. We're just kind of going with it at this point. No one's, no Plus, one's been complaining. if you have a musician's ear, you can kind of tell that our like guitar and bass tones just sort of sound like every time I Eric die. Eric is a gear snob. I'm a total gear snob, and I... I don't know, you can talk about gear for I, I really could. I probably shouldn't get started on that. No. <laughs> I think we're going to take another music break and come back with more acoustic, but that's okay. That's cool. cool no, me. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, here is Katy Perry, since we were talking about here with Teenage Dream. 